Let's have a quick listen to this track. The strings here are Cinematic Studio solo strings. The background noise and movement you hear is literally just four layers of me leaving my mic on with a high noise floor. In between certain notes, before a bow change, I'll breathe in as if I'm emotionally anticipating the next note. The rest is me rustling in my chair and an occasional gentle lip smack. These four layers were then panned to where the instruments were and put through reverb to sound like they're in the same space. Obviously, with the example track I showed you, this fake background layer was boosted to make it more obvious, but it's something I can adjust to taste. Let's go through this from scratch with a solo guitar. First, we'll track the guitar. Next, I'm going to record two layers, one with the mic turned up where I breathe, rustle and tap my foot while listening to the guitar in my headphones. Also note, I'll turn my headphones up so you can slightly hear the guitar coming out of them. This all adds to the acoustic fakery. I'm going to record a track where I grip, release and move my hand across an old electric guitar I have lying around that's not plugged in, for guitar noise. Now, add everything. Let's try a flute.
Now I'm going to record me breathing between note rests and blowing gently during notes, plus some rustling. Now together. If you want more room for your voice, just add a short reverb. And for an instrument with more wetness, just add a longer reverb to the same chain with less mix. Now, how about this? Okay. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. If I take this recording and add it to an addictive drums part, I get instant impromptu energy from the performance. With whatever mic you can get a hold of and a bit of thought and planning, you can add realism to many things. The point is to reintroduce the human chaos that was cleaned or edited out in a sample library into your recording as if being recorded live. It can be a subtle improvement or a massive improvement depending on what kind of track or atmosphere you're going for. And you know what? Even a little blooper once in a while can really boost your recording. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again next time. Check you later.